Good morning. I just put my lashes on. I still need to do mascara, but I'm gonna do that when I get to work and park because it's in my purse. I am running a little bit late right now. I am running a little bit late right now, but I wanted to show you a quick little trick because I've already showed you the little trick to do with your flat iron if you have some wrinkles in your shirt. Works really well for men too in their collared shirts. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch the videos from this month because it's in there. I don't know which video it is right now because I've been posting every day, so I'm losing track. But I just wanna show you this other really cool trick. So this is a little sweater. It has a couple little wrinkles down at the bottom. I just take my blow dryer and turn it on the highest heat. And there you go, I got the wrinkles out of my sweater. Sure, you could get out the iron, sure you could get out the steamer, but you have to wait for those things to warm up. Sometimes you just don't have time for that. So that's where the blow dryer comes in handy. So we're doing a white elephant at my work today with management. And this is my little white elephant gift. Isn't that so cute? Isn't it like rustic hunter? Like classy hunter? I just love it. It's a, a wood barrel to age whiskey or any kind of spirit. Um, you could barrel age old fashions, for example, so it's kind of cool. And these are round sphere ice cubes that you can make. And then I kind of put this on there so you could kind of get the idea of this, you know? So if you don't like whiskey, you might not want to pick this one, just saying. Isn't it so cute? So I just went in the back house and I'm collecting presents in a bag, one person at a time so I can wrap in the living room. And I'm gonna watch Christmas movies and I'm so excited about it. If I live to be a hundred, I'll never be able to forget that big snowstorm a couple of years ago. The weather closed in and, well, you might not believe it, but the world almost missed Christmas. Touched a morsel. I'll have to take this suit in. Eat. I'm busy, Mama. Okay, it's time for the next one. Charlie Brown Christmas. Yes. Okay, now I'm sure you know this, but just in case, I'm going to say it anyways. If you're working with something that has like an open face, just put it face down and then work with the back part. It's just going to be easier to tape with and easier to wrap. But again, I'm sure you know that, but just in case, just throwing it out there. Gift wrapping hacks, baby, gift wrapping hacks. This little girl, she makes it so hard to wrap, don't ya? Now it's time for Frosty the Snowman. Something wonderful is bound to happen, the movie. <laughs> I started watching The Polar Express because I got done with all my other three fun movies. The Charlie Brown, The Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph. So as I'm going, I'm kind of circling all the people's gifts that I wrapped just to make sure I don't forget anyone. I don't think I can because I haven't sorted it out so well back there, but that's what I'm doing. It kind of makes me feel like I'm moving towards something to see all the circles come up like, that's done, that's done, that's done. You know what I mean? So. I gotta add a couple more circles, but it's getting there. We got gifts, we got gifts happening, so that's exciting. Got the wrapping paper, and then I kind of cleaned everything up and I'm just kind of stacking it in the corner, and then I'll make another mess 